No new makeup out right now, but a couple of things coming out soon, and I'm looking forward to it. But this is the perfect time to do videos about makeup looks. I love doing these kinds of videos. Today I'm going to do how to get out of the house quickly, and I'm doing this because someone left a comment. In one of my videos recently, they want to see these kinds of videos. I do actually have a couple. I'll post one right here, like a five minute face or a 15 minute face, and it's kind of what it is. I didn't time this, so I don't know if it's a five minute face, probably not. 15 minute face, maybe it falls in the middle like a 10 minute face. And we're going to start with our skincare and our sunscreen. I've already done both, but sunscreen is very important on a daily basis. And I do find that some sunscreens need a long time to set up. Days where you don't have a half an hour to wait for something uh, like the Kosas to set up, you want to go for something else. There are three things that I really, really like. But if I'm doing fast makeup, nothing is better than the Tula Mineral Magic for me because it's peach. And it helps get rid of my redness, which means I need less foundation. Not everybody needs foundation. In fact, the other day, I looked in the mirror, didn't have anything on, but I had done my skincare, and I thought, you know, I just want to do my under eyes, and I'm fine. And the problem was that the under eye concealer was so bright that all of a sudden I look like I've been skiing, you know, and you have the goggles on and it's really bright right here and then the rest of your face is a different color. If you don't have that problem, if you have a situation where you don't have a lot of redness on your face, you dot a couple of spots that you want to cover, do a little concealer and be fine, but that's not the case for me. I really need some coverage for my redness and I feel that this does a lot for me. So I let this set up for a few minutes. Early in the morning, you're in a hurry, I get it, but you have to let your sunscreen set up for a few minutes. Get a cup of coffee, you know, pick up a couple of emails, maybe neaten things up, straighten things up a little bit. The other two that I really like are the Isntree and the can make. They really set up quick. They do leave your face shiny, so you will have to powder. So that's step one. Now since I've already done this, I feel like, again, I could just do a little concealer here and here, and I definitely need some around my eyes, but I know I don't have a concealer that's going to look quite right. <laughs> so I'm going to do a foundation instead. This is from Rose Ink, and this color isn't bad for me. I'm going to do one pump, but I'm going to try to do this pretty lightly. So instead of dabbing in like this, I'm just going to go like that and get a little bit on the butt and go initially where my redness is. I have redness on the side of my face as well, especially because I'm using a new skincare, which we'll talk about in two months. And it's, uh, you know, being activated. It's being active. But if we're talking something quick for the office, something quick to run some errands, you can see that if the center of your face is toned down, you can kind of get away with not doing the side. And it tends to look more natural. It'll look less like foundation if it's not all over your face, if that makes sense. People will just think you have nice skin when they see you straight ahead. So this looks really, really lovely. I do personally want to touch up my side redness. I'm gonna get redness right down here but I'm just not going to put this foundation all over my face. And this is not a bad match for me at all, so I can kind of get away with it. This is something you really can't get away with if the foundation is terribly off, too light, too dark, too yellow, too cool, whatever the case may be. Now I'm thinking, this is super, super natural looking. In fact, I'm going to do a little more on my hand. So that was one pump, it needn't be with my hand, I think I would have gotten full of coverage, but with a beauty blender, it takes up a lot. Taking a little bit more on the tip, and I'm putting this under my eyes. Foundation is thinner, generally speaking, than concealers. 
they won't have as much coverage, but it's much more mistake-proof to put your foundation under your eyes instead of a concealer. If you're in a hurry and you grab the wrong concealer, oh my god, it's too light, or it's too dark, or again, it's too this, it's too that, then you have to spend time making up for the mistake. Now I have some darkness right here, sun damage, so I'm just going to go all the way around, but there's hardly any on here. It's just evening everything up a little bit. I feel like, okay, now like this is the skin that I wish I had. What else do I think needs to be done if you're in a hurry? For most women, especially as we get older, it's our eyebrows. Thinning eyebrows is a result of, oh my God, getting older. It happens. When our eyebrows are thicker, it moves the focus of your face. People tend to look up. In my case, we don't want to look at the jowls, so they're, they're looking up here anyway, but a thicker brow is more youthful. So again, if you're in a hurry, it's interesting. A lot of women, it's just mascara and lipstick. But for me, it would be brows. So my videos are kind of about, this is what I do, obviously, and things for you to consider and, and play around on your own and decide, hey, can I just do eyebrows and be kind of okay? Some women don't need that foundation. They have really pretty skin and can just do the littlest bit of a skin tint. And some women have good matches for sunscreen. The sunscreens that match me the best are the ones that never dry down. And they're very, very shiny and have to be powdered. So it's not, it doesn't really work for me. But if you have a sunscreen that is tinted and goes well with you, that's all you need. Okay, we're getting there. A lot of women, they don't need to do eyeshadow. I do because I'm hooded. I just feel like all you see is my hood. And the, I have to say, these merits are fantastic. And where did I put it? The new Surratt, really, really nice too. But this has some shimmers in it a little bit. And these are not the fastest thing in the world because if you want to get a really blended look, you're going to have to spend a few minutes there. I love these and I use them all the time, but if I'm really in a hurry, I'm going to go with a powder. Enter Natasha Denona. I need a nude. There's several tones in here that look more natural, more like, is she wearing eyeshadow or is she not? And that's what I'm going to choose to do. Again, it's a daily look. It's for the office. It's for running errands. If you have kids or grandkids, pickups at school, drop off at ballet or soccer. And for me, I'm gonna go with this shade right up here. I haven't done any prep on my lids, they're just dry. I'm really hitting that orbital bone which will help shape my eyes. Do you see what a huge improvement that is? It just helps so, so much and yet, I don't think it looks terribly makeup-y. I could spend more time blending this to make it really look just like a shadow on the eye, but hopefully you get the gist, right? I'm going to do the other eye. Boom. One brush, one color, one and done, easy. I think a little bit faster if you want to get a really nice look than a cream, which I think takes a little bit more time. Now, I oftentimes use my concealer to help shape the eye. So I'm going to put on my hand a little bit of my concealer. You can see how much lighter it is than the foundation. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of foundation. Pick it up with the brush. See how that just lifts everything? Just kind of helping with the shadow, if the shadow went too far down. And I'm going to do a little more right here. Where I'm most dark. If you don't have the dark under eyes, don't do it. That's what being quick is all about. Address the issues that you personally have. For me, now I think the eyes look so, so, so much better. A little concealer to help shape. And I feel that it's a natural look. It doesn't necessarily look makeup-y, but I feel like my skin looks so, so much better. Now, all I'm going to do is what? Am I going to do liner? Am I going to do mascara? Am I going to do lips? Am I going to do blush? 
it depends on you, what you need. You could go for a real statement look, and that will save you a lot of time. Back in the day when my skin didn't have as much redness, I think it was probably after I did a laser, I would just do a red lipstick and call it a day, and it was a look. That's it. That could be enough for me, but we're going to take that off and, and try something different. I don't necessarily feel like I have to do a little blush, but you may decide to, and I have a really easy option. And it's just going to give me a little bit of color. It's a makeup by Mario, barely blushing. This color isn't giving me a kapow. Again, if you're going to be fast, don't go too dramatic, because if you overapply, it's problematic. And all of a sudden I feel like there's some life to my face, so yay, this is good. And do I want liner? Do I want mascara? I think I'm going to do a little bit of mascara, but it's not necessary. I got this recently, the Ritual Defeat, and it really phew, lifts your lashes and it stays all day. And it takes off really well, so I don't have to struggle with it. That could be it for me. So it's a little bit of everything. I'm not going to fuss with bronzer, but I feel like I am put together. I feel like if I was going into an office, 100% comfortable with this look. Really am. Running errands, same thing. But I'm just going to change the lip because I'm not going to an office. I'm just going to go on with this. It's a stain from Huda. Close to my natural lip color, but more. Your lips are better kind of a thing. And it is a stain, so it'll be there for a long time and you don't have to worry. And that's what being in a hurry is about. Not worry, hurry. I don't see a real sentence there, but I tried. Now, just for kicks, I'm going to come in with this color. I tried this the other day and I really liked it. It's dark, so again, if you're in a hurry, trying things you haven't tried before, not a good idea. And I don't know if it, the execution will work the same way it did, but it's kind of a blush contour if I put it right up here. Helps to slim the face a little bit. It's not incredibly blushy. It's more for evening. And use my beauty blender to help that out so it doesn't look like too much. But I feel like, for me, putting a little color right here helps to lift my face up and give it a little contour, give it a little thinning down. And if you want to, you could also put a little up here. Now, I'm a big fan of using your blush on your eyes. In the summertime, I do it all the time. And it's one of those things that helps to make these areas of your face relate. And for some reason, it makes me feel, anyway, that I look alert, awake, alive, youthful. And that's what it's all about. And that's one of the super quick tricks. Use your blush around your eyes. And you guys, that's going to be it. Let me know what you think. I think if I wasn't speaking and I just timed what I was doing, it would be about 10 minutes. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are, what your tricks are. Share with other people. This is my trick. I want to know. And that's going to do for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope it was fun. I hope it was helpful. And I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe, be smart, and I'm wishing you good health.